92 what's up to sound here from androtechblackspot.com right now with galaxy s3 for AT&T and we'll be routing our galaxy s3 for AT&T T-Mobile Ryzen Sprint Rogers Bell Talos so any of the US or Canadian galaxy s3 running a dual core LTE make sure it's dual core LTE so this will work for any dual core LTE. I said it three times because I don't want you to use this on your international S3 and get it bricked. So I see most of you guys are complaining about my video that I did on the how to do Max. How to do Galaxy S3 with Mac not working well today Zero Max aka Max Lee created this one route or one click route for the Mac OS X to root your Galaxy S3 so we are going to use that first of all you're going to click in the link description download the file Galaxy S3 root LTE Mac root that's the folder name right there download that then you're going to go to your phone go to setting all the way down developer option and make sure the USB debugging is selected and I'm gonna show you that my phone is not rooted what should we use uh, I have everything oh let's go triangle away app so I can tell you about it triangle away app gets rid of your binary counter and as it says magic header which is the root is not found and I don't have super SU or super oh I do have super user but it's not gonna be working I guess because uh, I disabled I deleted the binary it was rooted I deleted the binary that's why it's not gonna be root anymore so once you select that uh, USB debugging you're just gonna plug in your phone to the computer via micro USB once that plugged in put that aside we are going to go search terminal open that up this is the program they use to transfer files between Mac and Android if you don't know. But then here we are going to press CD space and wherever you have this folder, I have it on my desktop, I'll put my desktop full. D-A-S-K-T-O-P desktop. If you have any download, you put download there, documents, document there. So I have my desktop, I put desktop there. Now you can see it better. I press enter then I cd space we're going to go ahead and drag this file up there press enter here's the most important part make sure this looks as I write, type it sh space root s3 lte dot sh so make sure it looks like that root s3 lte dot sh this is the most important part all you gotta do then is press enter and it will start working so mm -hmm. endotechblocks.com go ahead and go check that out thank you Max Lee and he credited this guy and it says do not disconnect while this is going on your phone will reboot afterwards down there sorry about these weird angles because you know it's sitting down there I don't want to touch it because I have low I mean uh, very loose USB cable so if I touch it it will get rid of that I'm just gonna press OK because that's it's not connected as you can see right here let me go in front a little bit and focus all then routing Galaxy S3 super user or super user app from download from market so go ahead and go to the market play store search it up for super SU first one chain fire thank you for making this application install I don't want you guys to see my ID then open it up no thanks 
and now reboot your phone start reboot focus on to my phone so you can see it better everything possible AT&T we're going to go ahead and check if there is a super user there yep it's there open up Titan backup so that way you now right there the super user as you can see grant and root access okay you might have to update the binary depending on which binary you got I know the one I, he, he has is the older one so you might have to update it let's have you root your Galaxy S3 dual core LTE on the MacBook Pro or any Macintosh. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you, Zero Max, and thank you, everyone who supports me. Thank you for subscribing. That's right there on top, somewhere. Let's go ahead and check out. Actually, it's gonna take time. So go ahead and subscribe, guys, and. Uh, like button is down there make sure you like it and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching